Let's just follow up on a couple of videos po posted recently on uh, um, alignment tools or twiddle sticks. One was posted by Simon Spears um, on his Cossa um, radio alignment and the other one was from Chris, all again no idea. Um, and I just wanted to share, especially with Chris, um, some of these Belzer um, alignment tools. But I've emptied the contents of my alignment tool bag out and I just wanted to show. So, much like you Chris, I've got a set of these plastic ones. I think these are BK Precision or something from memory. can't remember. Um, these get used a lot. These are Vichy Spectral sort of potentiometer, potentiometer uh, tr trimmers. Um, with a metal blade in the end and then a recessed blade here um, these are these are good I mean the pros kit ones are all are okay um, they're much the same really this these Vichy ones seem to be a harder plastic but yeah useful all the same um, and again I've got these pros kit uh, ones here and I've also got um, these ones here. Now I bought these on eBay, no name, nothing. These, I, these were actually came second hand. Uh, maybe someone was clearing out an old box or something. This one I use the most. It's, um, it's fairly long, so when you're working with valve radios, um, you know, you want to keep your hands away because uh, obviously the set's live when you're twiddling. Um, and this one seems to do that. It's about um, eight, 8 inches long, um, obviously the handle uh, and a metal blade in the end, this works quite well for me, probably my most used ones along with the Vichy. Um, and there's also a nylon one, this one's quite flexible, it's got two blades, a smaller blade on that end and a slightly bigger blade on that end. Um, and same as you Chris, I've got one of these. I don't know what it is, it is actually, it's got a blade this end and some sort of cross on this end. Hmm, odd. Um, and also got these mirrors, now these mirrors I use when you need to adjust the front and back of an IF um, transformer. You know, so you on one stage you're uh, adjusting the top on, sorry, the the slug on top of the chassis, and the next stage you've got to go reach round and um, tweak the back, you know, from from underside. So I use this, uh, and um, obviously sticker you can use the mirror to see where the stick's going without having to turn the radio around. Uh, there's also capacitors because sometimes. Um, instructions ask you to couple your signal using a blocking capacitor um, you know, direct to the grid of a valve or something or even a resistor and that's what they're doing in there now these belts are ones um, I've got a set here of there's four sort of screwdriver -y. oops of screwdriver -y ones excuse me with different size blades in. These are quite short, four or five inches. And then these bigger ones. These have got different ends. This one's got a square end on it and a little tinier screwdriver. And these are quite, these are sort of like a rigid, rigid plastic body with a flexible end. There's another one here that's more of a screwdriver type thing the wider blade here and a smaller blade on that end and then there's another one here that's got um, a slotted end so round slotted end and a smaller round slotted end there and this one here that's got a blade flat blade that end and a smaller blade that end and this one here has got a hex hexagonal opening on that end 
and a different size opening on that end. So there's the Belzer ones. Now, Belzer don't seem to be making these anymore. Um, they've been taken over by Barco, and Bar uh, Barco are the Swedish saw or steel manufacturer. You might have seen them in um, quality DIY shops making saws and files and things. Um, now, if I zoom around, they do seem to be offering a set of trimmer tools on their website. Now, this is the Barco main website. If I can, there. Uh, but I can't find where you can buy them in the UK. Now, they look to be the same um, as this, this sort of style. Now, I'll zoom back around again. Now, the price on these, the last time I looked when Farnell had some, they were between sort of 11 and 13 to 15 pounds each. Yeah, so I don't know how much a wallet of four is going to cost you. Probably, I don't know, 30 quid, I would think. I'll see if I can find them. Um, I have put in the show me where to buy option, and there doesn't seem to be a stockist in the UK, but that doesn't mean no one has them here. But they are pretty good. But, um, yeah, still, this sort of thing does me. These two, I can pretty much do anything, really. The Vichet one and this one. Also, Chris, you'll notice EPE cutters. Thanks for watching.